In today's Health Watch, a new study shows energy drinks can actually change the way your heart works. Now, joining us now to discuss this is Dr. Crystal Foster from Baylor Healthcare System. So, Dr. Foster, explain to us what this means. Explain these findings. So, there was a new study out of Germany that showed that people who consumed energy drinks, it was they actually used 18 healthy subjects, average age 27. They took a cardiac image of their heart prior to the energy drink and an hour afterwards. An hour afterwards, it looked like their heart contracted much more stronger than it did prior to the energy drink, so it did increase contractility. So should we worry now about these findings? Is this something that we should concern ourselves with, especially I, teenagers? Exactly. I, teenagers don't process things as well as adults do, particularly caffeine and taurine, which are found in these energy drinks. So I think you do need to be cautious. This study, again, was very small, only about 18 healthy subjects. There could be other things playing a role outside of the energy drinks that increase their contractility. So I don't say, you know, hurry up and get them off the shelf, but be cautious. I mean, again, the caffeine intake can be significant in some of these energy drinks. And I know so many teenagers, and that's what they rely upon. If they, you know, they've got to be at, at school at 7 o'clock, or 715 something like that and they just down those energy drinks and mm -hmm. scary yeah. all right another new study shows a link between cholesterol and breast cancer mm -hmm. tell us about that so this is a study out of Duke University in North Carolina they actually did the study on mice so they fed mice high fat diets and then actually looked for a metabolite called 27 HC it's a byproduct of cholesterol in mice that had high fat diets and a lot of 27 HC they grew breast cancer tumors 30 percent more than those um, mice that did not they also injected 27 HC in tumors themselves and saw that they spread more easily. So now we do have some homogeneity or some similarities between humans and mice, so there is some question whether or not this um, can infect humans with breast cancer. Okay, so what does this mean about a possible link between statins, mm -hmm. which are good for helping fight cholesterol, high mm -hmm. cholesterol, and fighting breast cancer. That could mean down the line if we prove that elevated cholesterol byproduct does cause or can influence breast cancer, I should say, that statins may help. There's still a lot of uh, debate out there about um, statin use though and what is a good population to use it in. All right, so just another study that we need to look more closely exactly. at. Exactly. All right, mm -hmm. thanks so much for being with us today, Dr. Mm -hmm. Foster. Thank Appreciate you. it.